Okay, so what we want to do here is um, we want to validate the input on the guess. So when I hit the guess button, we want to validate that the input put into this top thing is a number. We've already done it for this bottom one. Um, so in order to do this, the first thing we have to do is take off the numbers only check. Um, to be clear, you should have this on, but for the purpose of this particular challenge, let's turn it off so that we can produce invalid input. Okay. Um, so in the same way that we check for input validation in secret number dot click, we want to do the same thing down here for guess uh, for the guess button. Um, so uh, basically, we're going to break this out, all right, and then let's do this. We're going to put in a new control statement. Um, it's an if then else, so we'll just use the if then else block. Um, we need to check to see if we have a number. So we get is number. All right. And this time, the thing we're checking to see if it's a number on is this. Um, whoops. I did not want to do that. I just accidentally duplicated all those blocks. I only wanted this guess field. Okay, so we want to check to see if the guess field is a number, and if it is, we want to do the, this chunk of code here, all right? Um, and then otherwise, we want to say that the thing was not a number. So, so we're going to duplicate the win-lose label again, and then kind of move it down here. Um, and so that it says you must enter a number if we don't have a number in our input box. So let's give this a test. All right. Ah, that's funny. Okay, so let's put in a number here. Okay, and then and we can put in a guess. And this time I'm just going to type in the word guess, and it says you must enter a number. And if I type in the word five, number five, all right, you need to guess higher. Nine, or 59, I guess. Uh, you need to guess lower. Okay. Um, and then finally, uh, we can type in six. Guess you win. All right, very good. So we see we have that input. Now, something you might notice is that I have to delete the number every time I want to put in a new number. So you might think about a way that you can change that um, so that we are no longer, um, we no longer have to delete. Maybe it should just automatically uh, disappear. See if you can come up with a solution for that. We'll talk about it in our next video.